Why Secret Invasion's finale is the worst MCU Disney Plus ending yet. The 37-minute finale of Marvel Studios' ninth Disney Plus series made some bold decisions, including turning Amelia Clark into the most powerful being in the MCU. Super Scroll, no Supergirl. In the Secret Invasion finale, Clark's Gaia is granted abilities hitherto undreamed of prior in the MCU. These come from the Harvest, the collection of various DNA samples of enhanced heroes and villains. The list of superpowered beings whose abilities now course through Gaia's veins are Captain Marvel, Thor, Hulk, Abomination, Drax, Mantis, and many more. Fighting an equally juiced up villain, Gravik, Marvel Studios' new godlike hero takes him down with a cosmic energy blast directly through the abdomen, leaving Gaia as the only scroll with these next-level powers. She teams up with Olivia Coleman's Sonya at the end of the episode, but what's really next for Clark in the MCU? This finale communicated that she can not only shapeshift but power shift into basically any of Marvel's most powerful characters. This is a big deal, so why doesn't it feel like it? King Lassie Ben Adier did what he could with how his secret invasion character, Gravik, was written. A one-note villain whose motivation was a simple, you lied, while looking directly at Nick Fury. Nick Fury not living up to his promise of finding the displaced Skrulls a new planet after the events of Captain Marvel lead Gravik to threaten complete Earth domination. After trying to frame Russia for an attack on the US president and government officials, Gravik's master plan ends quickly with a CGI fight against Gaia, a character he previously killed before her whiplash resurrection between episodes 3 and 4. Ben Adder's villain is the ultimate example in secret invasion of a character, plot point, or sequence that was meant to be cool or badass, that was underwritten and executed lazily. Introduced to present a temporary threat on Earth, just to die in the end. Six episodes felt rushed for a massive Marvel story like Secret Invasion. It gets even worse when weekly viewers realize the final three episodes' average runtime was 38 minutes, 14 minutes less than the first three episodes' average. Sprinting to the finish line, Gaia, Gravik, and Fury storylines were all quickly resolved to wrap up the series. Nick Fury, in particular, felt forced to set up the Marvels, releasing in theaters on November 10. After Fury's wife was introduced in Episode 2, Priscilla Slash Vera, played by Charlene Woodard, quickly played a key role in the series. In short, she was working with the evil Skrulls, was supposed to kill Fury, fully considered it, and in a matter of minutes switched her allegiances back and ultimately ended up heading up to space with her husband, who accepted her for her true alien self. Conveniently, Vera says that her stay is temporary, and that all her work is here on Earth, darling. Will Vera even appear in the film starring Bry Larson, Eamon Villani, and Tiona Paris? Additionally, in the finale, a paranoid President Ritson sent out a worldwide hit on anyone who could be a possible scroll threat. An intriguing storyline, but wasted for another time. The next time this could be addressed would probably be in Captain America, Brave New World when Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross is the U.S. president, played by Harrison Ford. The aforementioned meetup between Coleman and Clark's characters was a blatant tease for a future project, which one? It's unclear if anyone cares right now. Secret Invasion is the first Marvel Disney Plus series to not include any post credit scenes. For a culminating episode that reeked of setting up the future, this was a shock. Even just a stinger reutilizing footage from the Marvels could have been appropriate, trying to lead into the studio's next big blockbuster. If not the Marvels, then why not tease Armor Wars? The Don Cheadle lead film is set to dive into what happens when Tony Stark's tech falls into the wrong hands. While James Rhodes is a focal point of the series, specifically the fact that he's probably been a scroll since the end of Captain America, Civil War, gross, nothing about Armor Wars felt teed up. 
Rhodey has been in stasis while kidnapped by the Skrulls for at least seven years. And when will this be resolved? Another time. A pile of loose threads has taken over the MCU since Phase 4 and the Multiverse Saga began with 2021's Black Widow. Secret Invasion's finale teased future stories more than it resolved its own, at least in a satisfying way. Disney Plus gets two more attempts to present crowd-pleasing MCU shows in 2023. Loki Season 2 begins on October 6, and the entirety of Echo drops on November 29.